morning everybody it's Wednesday and uh, <clears throat> once I got back down from uh, Egypt came over here to Fernley and uh, turn on the load board and found a load uh, picks up here at 2 30 is my appointment uh, that's Pacific time and um, yeah, I came up $300 short from uh, my goal. My goal is to make 11000 this week. So I'll make uh, 10700 So came up just a little shy of a making uh, 11000 uh, The best I did last month was 9000 in a week. And then, of course, uh, the other three weeks weren't as good. Um, the uh, so for the total of the month was uh, forget what the total of, oh yeah 31.5 that was my total for last month so yeah it's uh, it's starting off better um, so 10,700 for my first uh, week out uh, schedule is really tight I got <clears throat> just under 21 hours on my clock and uh, I need to get loaded and then drive a thousand miles to uh, Denver and get unloaded so uh, that's the thing about running them ELDs man uh, the government they, they think they're slick by doing what they did that you want to have an eye on you all the time babysitting you uh, they don't trust you even though truck drivers have been independent and on their own since the beginning of the conception of a drug driver but anyway so that's what happens is that you end up racing the clock and uh, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to race the clock. Uh, on paper, a thousand miles at 65 miles an hour comes out to 15 hours. And so, but that's paper, calculator. In reality, you have hills, you have mountains, uh, you have traffic, you have construction, you have accidents. Uh, you have pit stops, you have fuel stops, you have this and you have that. So in reality, uh, 15 hours is not really realistic. But um, I, I'll get her done. That's what I do. And uh, I'll get it done. So get this load delivered. And for my first week out, I'll make $10,700, which, like I said, is 300 short from what I was... Wanting to get, uh, because Justin over there at Just Trucking, uh, he made 11000 one week, and I've been trying, uh, I've been bid trying, but I would like to be able to make 11000 in one week. So, uh, my second month out, I come pretty close. So, we'll, we'll give her a shot. Now, I know next week I won't be able to do it because it's, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll have to deadhead out of Denver because Denver... If you're wanting to get a load to go back east. Anyway, Denver's not a good place to find a good paying load. So, I'll uh, more likely dead head out of there. And uh, I would, don't be surprised uh, if I dead head all the way back to uh, the middle of the country. Because that's where the freight pays. And... Uh, I, I would like to be able to find something to go back, but realistically, uh, I won't count on it. I mean, I can always find something to burn up time and maybe pay for fuel, but that's about what it will do is burn up time and pay for fuel. So sometimes you have to do the math in your head. Is it really worth it to have your fuel paid for if mathematically you're going to lose the time where you could have made more money so just have to weigh out what you got and look and do the math and see what comes up so that's my Wednesday 
and uh, this is video is getting a little long so you guys have a nice morning and uh, and uh, God bless peace and later